Hi guys, it's Danny from the ScrapFX design team for March 2021. Today I'm doing an art journal page and using the new release Tracy Scott papers, rice papers called Sweet as Candy. Isn't she gorgeous? So I'm just gessoing the back of the rice paper and I've just um, prepped my art journal with some gesso as well. Now that the rice paper is dry, I'm just fussy cutting that little girl out. And I'm just going to fussy cut her right on the line. So by just sewing the back, it, it stops the rice paper being so transparent. And so my background won't bleed through the rice paper. So that's why I've just sewed the back there. And now I'm just fussy cutting the little elements that were in the background. So the little skulls and the, the little brooch. And I've been using those in my background. I'm using some paper artsy paints here. And I'm just using a credit card to swipe that out. And because I'm using the cotton rag papers, I'm just using a baby wipe just to spread that out. Now this is a new stencil for March from Scrap FX. Um, and I'm just going to stencil that out in my background. I'll list all the products below in the description so that you can get your hands on all these great products from Scrap FX. So I'm just randomly stenciling that around the borders and I'm just sort of testing my little girl out too, making sure that she's in the right position. Now I'm using some Scrap FX stamps here. This one is called Round and Round Stamps and the Medallion stamp here as well. And I'm just using some archival inks in the same blue tones to stamp that out into my background. And again, I'm just sort of avoiding that area where I'm going to place my, um, my girl. This is a Scrap FX stencil round shawl. Um, it's one of my favourites and I'm just using some gold paint and I'm going to stencil that through just behind the the head of my my Tracy Scott lady there. So I'm pretty happy with that, it's looking pretty gorgeous. So once the paint's nice and dry, I'm going to glue that piece of rice paper down. I'm just using some matte medium here and just making sure that I get a really good layer. So I'm using a lot of matte medium to glue that down, making sure I'm not getting any air bubbles in between the layers of rice paper in the back page. Now this is also a Scrap FX rice paper. This one um, is called Gypsy Doodles and this one's by um, Tanya. And I'm also using the dandelion silhouettes here. So again, just gluing those down with some matte medium, making sure that I haven't got any air bubbles in there. And just sort of auditioning those little silhouettes about working out where I want them. Once I'm happy with that, I'll glue that down. And I've just decided that leaf was just making it too busy, so I'm just going to cut that leaf out of the rice paper and then I'll layer my little dandelion back over the top. So just altering that little design there so that the dandelion's got its own little space. And then I'm just using a few more of those elements out of the gypsy doodles, just the little paisley shapes and again, I'm just taking out another one of those leaves. And you can see on the Gypsy Doodles, I haven't done any gesso on the back. So these rice papers are a little bit more translucent. Again, just sort of auditioning, but I realised that I really didn't need that extra piece. Sometimes less is more. So I'm just using some layer cakes paint here. This is um, really bright paints by Jane Davenport and they're great um, for layering the colours over the rice paper. 
So I'm just starting to paint in her hair and this takes a little bit of time just layering the colours in, creating a bit of shadow and now I'm just sort of working on the face details. So I'm just layering the, the colours in, getting some colour down, working out where I want the extra colours and I'm trying to keep a minimal palette so I'm only, only doing sort of the reds and the blues um, at this point. Now that that layer paint is dry, I'm going back over with some Prisma pencils, just trying to create a bit more depth in the hair and a bit more interest, creating a bit of dark and shadows, just so that the actual face doesn't look so flat. And just putting in some more fine details with the pencils. So I just sort of go back and forth with my colors, working out what I want and where I need to layer the colours. It's a great thing with the rice papers, they allow you to use lots of mediums on there. Just creating a bit of shadow now with the pink Prisma pencil and doing the face decorations. And now I'm going back to the paints and I'm just painting in the clothing. Now I'm using a little bit of Posca pen to do some of the fine doodles on the rice paper on the opposite page. And then back again over to the hair and I'm just adding some black details. So I'm just sort of going back and forth sort of filling in and colouring in the areas that I want to add some colours. And just putting in the fine details in the clothing. Using a, a purple pencil there to put some more shadows in. And now I'm just using the little skulls and I'm colouring in the little shadows with the Prisma pencils again. Using a little bit of gold paint to rub over the dandelions just to pick up a little bit more detail. And then I'm gluing those little skulls into the centre of the dandelions. Just going around with a gold Posca pen now and doodling over that stencil just to make it pop a little bit more and give it a bit more fine detail. And now I'm using a white Posca pen to add highlights. A bit more detail with pencil. And back in on the flowers with some white pen for more detail. I'm using some black some navy blue paint sorry here just to edge around my page just to frame the work and then of course gold splatter a few more little details in the face and that's just about it i add a transparency as well in the quote and that's my final piece in the art journal. I really enjoyed these rice papers. I hope you're inspired to use the wonderful Tracy Scott's papers. They're so cute. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Thank you.